Okay, hi guys, this is Samantha. Thank you for coming back to my YouTube channel. I was going to make a video showing you guys how I made a purse mini album, but the steps and all the things that I did for the inside, it was just taking too long and the video would have been really, really long. So I just decided to show you my after product. I used the cartridges, cup, I'm sorry, Yummy from the Cricut Imagine cartridges, and I mostly used the papers for it. And the fabulous forever young and you'll see why in a minute but the purse the actual purse shape is from forever young and I actually used an old lucky charms box to cut it with my uh, it's Cricut expression and then I used the Cricut imagine to cut the cover and then I did the same thing for the handles um, the flower on the outside is actually from forever young as well and I used the Cricut imagine to flood the colors and do the layers myself this ribbon um, actually has these little dangly beads on it. I'm not sure exactly where I got them from. They've been in my craft collection for a while. So I decided to add that to the front. And of course, binded it all with my zutter. So let's get started with the tour. On the inside, I decided to use that polka dot paper that comes with Yummy. However, it does, it does shape like a scallop. And I didn't realize it until after I had cut it and printed it. But So the bottoms have like a little white space. But I still like how it came out. This is the front page, and I just like to put the um, one of the, the dolls from Forever Young, and I did the word style, and I also flooded that with a color from Yummy, and then the green is also from the palette from Yummy. And then we have Elegant with another lady on there. Then I decided to cut um, a mirror from forever young and it's also cut with old um, card stock I get not card stock I'm sorry old box that I had uh, that I always keep I don't ever throw them away <laughs> and here's another one that says trendy and then on the next page sorry I got interrupted uh, on the next page it just says chic and again if you could look at the the dolls a little closely that I just uh, flooded their their dresses um, with some of the patterns that was in yummy so everything could kind of coordinate and I cut the same thing as the old box, um, a lipstick, just to add some different in the middle. Um, the next one says Glamour and also has um, the Forever Young doll with a paper that's flooded from Yummy. Same thing on this side. And I tried to coordinate the papers with the outfits and that says Extravagant. And the little embellishments I put on the side is just punches that I had in my stash. Um, Martha Stewart punches the butterfly and the, and the little flower. Here is a nail polish that I cut out. And I actually, at the last minute, decided I could make it like it has a journaling tab. So you can tuck back in there. I mean, it's not very big, so I don't know if you could do much with it. But the option is there. And then, here's Glam. The same little paper doll. And then, we got Gorgeous. And then, I got this cell phone. I forgot to mention this cartridge. I just got this cartridge in the mail, like, literally yesterday. Um, it's called, um, what is it called? Paisley. I apologize. Anyway, um, it's a cell phone, and, of course, someone can journal on the, the white part, and also has space on the back for journaling, but I thought that was cute to put that in there. And you have glitz. And the last, last page says fierce. So I figured um, the reason why I decided to do these little inserts at the last minute was because I figured oh these are like items that are normally found in your purse like your cell phone I don't know if people carry nail polish in their purse but just in case <laughs> and like the lipstick and um, your mirror like a little compact mirror so anyway so that's the book and I like it how you can just kind of carry it around and bring it with you and uh, show people you know and then the back is just plain it's nothing major on the back and so that's that. I actually am in the process of updating my blog, so I'll have the dimensions and everything on there as soon as I can upload it. But I just want to show you guys my finished product, and I hope you like it. And once again, thank you for joining me. And if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to email me or comment on the page, and I'll respond back as soon as I can. All right, guys, you have a great day. Thank you.